Let's take a collage dream adventure together. This season, we're exploring ideas and material and pushing them in every direction that feels right. Be fearless with your curiosity and deliberate with your moves. Hashtag summer prompts. Hashtag summer solstice. Welcome to Collage Dream and the Summer Prompts. This is a really exciting one, as the one before and the one after, but summer solstice is a beautiful part of the year because we're welcoming the summer, right? This year it happens June 21st. Now, listen, behind the camera we have... The one and only Chunky Baker. Thank you. But listen, <laughs> I did not like the summer until very recently. Um, I'm always shining, I'm always the sun, but I love winter. It's always been winter in my heart, as dramatic as that sounds, but it's the truth. So up to maybe two years ago, we went to Mexico and I fell in love with the heat. So when I think of summer solstice or when I think of magic, I kind of contract and I think about internal magic and I think about going uh, introspectively, right? Uh, but summer solstice is not about that. I consulted a friend of mine to tell me a little bit more about her thoughts on summer solstice. So come with me and let's talk to my friend Monica. So we have this beautiful example of a summer solstice altar, kind of like a pop-up altar. And to talk a little bit more about it, I have my dear friend Monica here. Hey Monica. Hi. How are you? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about summer solstice, about altars, and how we can really kind of make this part of our practice uh, year-round and, and, and incorporate into our art practice? Yeah, sure. Okay, so most pagans or spiritual people will have a designated space in their home, a sacred space, an altar, and that can encompass anything. Um, some people like to work with a variety of pantheon. Some people like to work with ancestors. And some people, for example, like Wiccans, really follow what they call the Wheel of the Year. Mm. And the Wheel of the Year is based on really an agricultural society. So solstice is one of those holidays. There's another it's called Lineth, if I might be mispronouncing it. And something you can do is you can seasonally change your sacred space to reflect that. And it's a way to give you sort of focus and kind of connect you to, you know, your earth practice and earth magic and being all connected to the earth and not being removed from it. That's kind of what your whole goal is when you're doing something more like a bruja or a witch or, you know, meditator, or light worker, whatever phrase you want to use. Some people like art witch. I like art witch. <laughs> so a solstice is typically like the longest day of the year. You've heard of winter solstice. It's the shortest day of the year. And here we are in the Northern Hemisphere, so it is going to be the longest day, whereas in some place like Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere, they are having winter solstice at the same time. And I believe the solstice is the 21st this year, maybe the 26th, I have to look it up. So you can designate your altar space to it, and what we wanna do is it's about bringing in the light. So whereas winter solstice is about honoring the darkness that's coming, these are coming, this is about honoring the longest days. We kind of started with the equinox, and typically with the equinox, that's the beginning of spring, and it's a planting season, so agriculturally you would be planting your seedlings. In terms of our life, we might be planting our intentions, and then this at the solstice is what we have learned. So you can do a couple things with your altar. So I have a lot of things that are very bright and summery here, seashells, um, just kind of evoking this idea of like being out in the summer, um, butterflies, which are starting to appear. And because typically if we were outside, you'd see all the floral and fauna is starting to bloom and blossom because at the equinox we were planting and now at the solstice, everything's coming through. But in terms of us as people, what we can do here is for example, I made this little quick collage. And maybe on the back, what I can do with it is I can put a letter of gratitude and things I'm grat you know, I'm happy for or ways I've grown in six months and maybe what I want to release going forward. Some other things you can take this further is really, you can start here a few days before the solstice, but I recommend getting outside and being with mother nature, whether that's 
taking a hike, working in your garden if you have a garden space, bringing florals in from there, um, going to the beach. I like to go to the beach. I like to take my magical tools with me. I like to take crystals. I like to um, take my tarot cards because I'm a tarot reader and I like to charge them out in the sun. I also like to give myself a reading, a day of rest, getting in the water, very cleansing. Um, I like to also sometimes cast spells out there. I've done like a spell with seashells and sent it out into the ocean about what I'm thankful for, maybe what I wanna bring into my life. So there's lots of things you can do. So if you have even just paper, again, you can write intentions here and you can lay them at the altar. And it really altars are just about a way of focusing energy, focusing your attention. And it's like your sacred space, your quiet time where you can connect and sort of build your spiritual practice, your magical practice, your art practice, um, you know, memories, things like that. So there's a variety of altars and this is just one example. Well, Monica, thank you so much. I know you normally don't create your uh, altars indoors for the summer solstice. Like you said, you go to the beach, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's such an uh, amazing way to, to be in touch with nature. Can you tell me a little bit of how you kind of make this your own? Because like we said, this is a pagan uh, celebration. How do you turn this into something that's more meaningful to you and your right. culture? I think with people like, you know, some people are like the Wiccan way, I'm not. And it's a very kind of, there's a lot of structure there. A lot of these traditions are based on a lot of Celtic mythology or ritual or sometimes uh, Norse ritual. I am a Mexican American. So for me, these are, some things connect and some things don't connect for me. So I have to kind of reinterpret them. And also being in New York City, I meet a lot of people in the spiritual community who are followers of like, you know, Santeras or like Yoruban traditions. So they work with Orishas and they'll celebrate the solstice too, but maybe they incorporated an Orisha that kind of reflects that, like Yamaya, who's of like the sea. And so they'll do offerings for her or Oshun, which is like honey and yellow and bright. And they all have these threads that interconnect. So some people will also put on their solstice altar like honey offerings. But we also just want to make it really bright and festive and a lot of sun imagery as much as possible and see and just like everything you think good about the summer. Um, so yeah, if you're wanting to create an altar, great. Or you want to do like some collage or journaling, it's, it, there's all these ways to just, I would really say the focus is like, look internally what you've progressed on, what you want to harvest your last six months, maybe what you want to bring in the new six months, what you want to let go of would be a really great um, way to interconnect it with your artistic practice. That's brilliant. Uh, well, Monica, thank you so much for hanging out with us and um, creating a little pop-up altar. And I can't wait to see how this plays out in our collages. Ciao. Ciao. Thanks, Monica. I mean, after having that conversation, it kind of shifted everything. Because when I thought of summer solstice, I thought, I want to make an altar. I want to create a safe space. But after hearing her talk about creating seeds and making intentions, I thought, okay, let me take a different approach. So come on over and let's do a little brainstorming. I have my little notebook and all of my prompts. So hashtag summer solstice. And if you can't spell, spell it whichever way you want because I always change it. So what comes to mind? Elvis, what comes to mind when I say summer solstice? Uh, like the summer months, so like June, July, okay. August, heat. June, heat. For me, the sun. For me, flowers. Also, cycle, right? Because it happens every year and it kind of delineates time. Uh, season. Uh, for sure, magic. And when I think of like being outside and, and talking about like nature, I do think about meditation. So these are my words. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm gravitating towards cycle, uh, meditation, magic. Uh, also, I can't help but think of a safe space, right? That's always on top of my list. So I'm gonna keep these four things in mind and see where it takes me. Now, like I said, because I come from trauma or a dark place, uh, I, I always want to kind of contract when I think of, of approaching things. 
This idea of embracing summer solstice is the opposite, which is why I'm not wearing black, which is why I'm wearing this radiant yellow. I want to give it a try. Um, but initially I thought, oh, I'll make an altar with a, with a cigar box because how cool is that, right? Um, I can activate this space into an altar. But then I thought, okay, taking this conversation with Monica, what can I do differently? So I thought, okay, let, let me turn it inside out. Now, when we think about cycles, what comes to mind? The circle. When I think about meditation, what comes to mind? Repetitive motions, repetitive movement. So I thought, okay, I'm going to just make tons of circles and kind of zen out a little bit. So come on over and I'll show you what I mean. So I have this fascination by, the thing I love about collage, which fascinates me, is that it's all about using the peripheral, right? We're not talking about her, at least I'm not. I'm talking about this space behind her, the space in between. Like, wow, right? So, looking for these spaces, I'm going to start creating circles. And as I do these circles, I am meditating on the season. Now, when we think of meditation, we think, oh, you know, yoga poses or closing your eyes for 30 minutes and thinking about nothing until your face starts itching. No, meditation is anything that takes you to that special place, right? That, that Zen moment. So you can literally be meditating while you're collaging, while you're running, while you're exercising. So what I've done is I meditated for a little bit before and I cut out all of these circles all of these circles and this in some way to me represents the idea of cycle and the colors that I've chosen represents summer solstice oh, look at that isn't that gorgeous and then I went a little bit further and I cut out these little five by five cards which are just big enough to hold the CD size and I thought yeah let me meditate on this idea of cycle and create simple collages that talk about the season. So I'm gonna take this assortment and just maybe use three circles or more and create just a composition using circles. Now this is gonna lead to something else, don't you worry. You know we have our summer lark coming up. So look at that. Look at all of the great conversations that are happening uh, just with circles. So I'm gonna commit to this and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this. So of course we have our fun double stick tape. So take your time and source some beautiful colors, source some beautiful uh, textures for your circles because we're gonna do something really special with these. And you can arrange them in any which way you want, right? You can put them one top of each other concentrically, or you can create kind of what I'm doing right here, a little bit off-centered, where it almost looks like a galaxy. I think I need some yellow. There we go. Now, one thing that really struck me when I was speaking with Monica was the seeds, right? Oh, look at that. She was talking about your intentions for the next six months, and that's when it really turns to magic, right? So, on the back of this, I'm gonna write my intention. For the next six months, I I want to connect my art with my community and art fam. Yeah. So you can say, oh, well, isn't that kind of what you're doing right now? Yes, and I want more of it. So this is almost kind of like a gratitude and also an intention, right? Now, how am I gonna do that? So, as you can see, I'm sweating. It's already, it, it's summer solstice in the studio. Uh, how am I gonna do this? So, any wish, any desire, means nothing without action, 
right? So I'm going to take this little box and turn it into a studio, and then I'm gonna do the unthinkable. I'm gonna go outside, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Come over. So I thought, you know what? Let me create this as an extension of my studio and take it outside. But before I do that, I'm gonna decorate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really activate this space. So I found this beautiful outer space image that I thought would be a really great substrate, or not a substrate, but a really great um, thing to put in my box. It's gonna be what I take with me when I want to connect with people. So what I've done, you guys, is I've invited two friends to meet me at the park, and we're gonna collage together using all of these circles that I've cut out, and we're gonna, I'm gonna invite them to write their intentions. So now, this becomes an activated space, right? And you know, you can go a little bit further. I was that kid that um, had his locker like an art piece, right? I had so many things in my locker, it looked like a shrine. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna not go that crazy. But I also found this beautiful eye. And I couldn't find a sun image, so I thought, you know what? I love the idea of the all-seeing eye, right? It doesn't scare me, it makes me really excited to know that we are protected, we are seen. So I'm just gonna take this eye and maybe put it center stage. Right there, look how fun that is. Now you can do whatever you want with this. This is a nice little opportunity to be uh, creative without thinking of a collage artwork piece, right? We're not thinking about creating something that uh, is gonna be a work of art. This is kind of something that's gonna be used. So because this is gonna be kind of like a, a public space, right? I'm gonna invite friends to come over. I wanna make it attractive and shiny and reflective. So I have these fun uh, dot stickers that perhaps, look how cool. I mean, talk about magic and witchy, right? Now, you don't have to be a mystic to celebrate summer solstice. Obviously, you don't have to be a mystic to set intentions. This is just a really fun way to do it, to visualize and to invite change, right? Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, and I think this is just enough where it, it excites me and it works, right? So I'm just gonna fasten this a little bit more. If you wanna use a little bit of glue, a little bit of tape, a little bit of washi tape, that would be nice too. So you can see the change in my, in my action here, right? Because it's no longer about, you know what, I'm gonna use this washi. It's no longer about creating an altar that, that stays in my house, but maybe this is gonna be an altar that travels with me. Oh no, it had a little scratch, don't wanna do that. Okay, I'm gonna use this just to create more visual tension, but also to secure it. There we go. How, okay, look at that, look how beautiful that is. So remember, we are, we're not being precious. We're not being precious here. I don't want to decorate the outside so much because then it'll definitely get ruined and then I'll be precious, but you know, make it enough for it. Doesn't seem like it's something you can throw away. Cool. So this is my little summer solstice box. So I'm gonna put all of the circles that I've cut out and this is gonna be all of the material that I'm gonna invite my friends to create their collage with. Check that out, isn't that fun? So I cut out some, this is from the collage kit for spring and this is from a uh, stand in Mexico. Some flowers, this is the one I just cut. And you can do whatever you want, obviously. So what I did is I chose three sizes. I did the CD and then I have this 
hole puncher, which is uh, one and a half inches. And then I have this tiny one. And then I just found some other random circle objects that I thought would look really great. So I'm putting it all with me. And then I have my papers. And of course, take your pen, take a few if you want. Take your fun double stick tape. You don't have to take the whole thing, but you know, enough so people can create. And whatever else you want. See if, if my crystal fit, I would take it, but it doesn't fit, so we won't take it. But take whatever you think will facilitate a fun experience with your friends, right? So I can close this and take it with me. And here's my example. And this is your summer lark. So for your summer lark, let's step out of the studio and invite people to create with us, create in community. When you create in community, it takes a totally different dynamic because it's not about creating something pretty, it's not about competition, it's about who's having the most fun and the conversations that come up. So here's my intention and I'm gonna do good on it. So I'm gonna take the summer lark and I'm gonna meet my friends in the park and we're gonna collage together. So before we go and do that, I want you to check out this collage of hashtag summer solstice by Karen Oamara. Hello everyone, this is Karen or Atomink on Instagram and Today I am here with you to share my take on the summer solstice prompt for the summer prompt series. So this is my collage and the first one I thought of summer solstice I thought of the sun. This is the longest day of the year so I really wanted um, something to represent this element, the sun, in my collage. So I had this idea of printing um, a page from one of my books, an illustrated page from one of my books onto a yellow sheet of paper. So that's what I did and I got my background like this. And then I tried to collect uh, elements that reminded me of summer, of the sun, and I found this uh, interesting looking uh, almost glass looking glittery texture that reminded me of um, the sunlight onto the sand on the beach. I was inspired by this. I live by the sea so this is something that popped into my mind when I thought of summer. This uh, glittery, uh, glittery sand under the sun. So, <laughs> um, so I made three circles with um, with this texture and then uh, almost as a mirror I have this um, these crescent shapes almost like waves um, to create movement and balance and um, and then we have this uh, this silhouette in the middle uh, this shadow silhouette um, that's really the, the, the focus of the, of the piece and it is really a celebration of everything that's, um, that's around uh, nature, sun, summer, life it's, a, it's a here to celebrate, to enjoy, be outside and um, yeah, really celebrate life I think um, and you have uh, these uh, blue, almost purple flowers that um, add an interesting contrast, I think. Um, so yeah, that's my piece and I hope you have fun creating your own collage and I can't wait to see what you'll create. Thank you so much to everyone and to you, Luis, uh, for asking me to participate. And yeah, I can't wait to see what everyone does. <laughs> Bye. Be sure to follow Karen. I love everything she does. So it's time to do the unthinkable. Let's go.
Well, thanks for meeting me in the park. It's a gorgeous day, and I can't believe we live in New York and we forget and we don't come out here. Yeah. Um, a big thing in my world is not leaving my house, so thank you for meeting me halfway. <laughs> um, it's summer solstice, and what happens in summer solstice, you know, it's the longest day of the year, which is why I'm wearing yellow, and people plant seeds, right, in, 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 in the real agricultural world. And we can use that as an idea to plant our own seeds and plant some goals and write some goals. And of course, the only way I can do that, my magic, is art. So I've cut out some circles, and I want you guys to kind of look through the box and pick out some colors, textures that call your name, three minimum, as many as you want, and we're gonna make a collage. And then we're gonna write our intentions in the back. So let's just start. And just kind of leaf through it and see what calls your name. Um, I can play too. There's some green, mylar, birds. So really think about kind of in actuality. Think about, um, you know, where do you want to be in six months? Is there something that kind of reminds you of Canada, Europe, Mexico? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, this looks look like at a that. photo I sent you. I love that. Does anyone want to be in an infinity pool? I want to be in an infinity pool. <laughs> <laughs> So now, if you guys already have your colors and stuff, you keep looking. So we're gonna put them on these. And you can use these double stick tapes, or you can use this. So I'm gonna start using this guy. So now that you guys have your collages, you can flip it around and I'm going to give you guys a pen and you guys can write your intention for the six months. It can all be, also be something like you're gra grateful for, uh, you can show gratitude, but, uh, but it'd be great to kind of think about, okay, in the next six months I'd love to blah 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 and uh, set your intentions. Here you go. All right, so this is something that's kind of really personal. You know, you don't have to share it. Uh, I know you just showed everyone what you wrote, but you can take a moment to do it again and maybe really reflect on, okay, in six months, I really want to be somewhere else physically, emotionally, whatever. Um, I'll share mine really quick. Mine says, uh, to act on the signs from the universe and meet the universe halfway because I found a little bird and a person on a, on a pool and I thought, yeah, you know, because we ask for signs and then when we see them, we don't act on them. So I thought that would be nice. Um, do either of you want to share what you wrote? Uh, I can share. Go for it. So I wrote, I want to continue to dream audaciously. I picked a like valley, uh, which reminds me of when we were in Portugal recently and we went to, I went to the Douro Valley and I really want to go back. That's where I feel like is home. Um, and then I picked really vivid colors because I want to remember to be, you know, ambitious, 
and aggressive about the things that I dream for. Um, and so, yeah, I want to continue to make those dreams audacious and no dream is too big. So. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Alicia. Hey, do you want to share? Sure. I just like to create stuff and um, I chose these galaxies, stars. <laughs> nice. I like to write and this uh, jewelry, think of it as a, a musical instrument that I would um, I like to create some uh, music. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Wow. It's so interesting how it's so simple right like none of that was there but you were able to find that and bring it together so thanks for hanging out you guys and, and, and creating a community which is something we don't often get to do especially if you're not in the arts um so thanks for meeting me halfway sure. all right you guys this is luis martin the art engineer and these are summer prompts hashtag summer solstice bye bye guys <laughs>